Oh, we're back with this. This is the Unify US 48 500W. So this one was uh, produced 2014 board date, probably in production 2015 and ran until it died and had to replace it and do a switch upgrade on this. So this here is e-waste. Now, I don't think it all is the e-waste, but definitely the switch is, everything's burned out. You saw the last video. If you haven't, please go down to uh, over here. You click on my name, see the other videos. But before you do that, please hit a like and a subscribe, and you'll get crazy videos like this. This one here, just uh, more of my day job stuff. CB radio is kind of a hobby, so... This one here, dead, 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 dead. So you can have this in a corporate situation. You could use this in a home lab if it worked, and then you can kind of troubleshoot it on console. But yeah, this thing just doesn't boot, doesn't recognize any Ethernet ports. It's burned out inside. Saw a lot of views on this, but uh, yeah, you can't put this switch into production if it is uh, funking out and uh, one year warranty as far as I can tell from what everyone's told me on that I have not verified that so if that's not true please leave a comment down below and tell me the uh, warranty on one of these but think of a repurpose in one new unit here I've done that before with the old super micro units but in any regard I want to pull out my old 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 school switch uh, it's actually in production here at the Eric Texaf Studios. So we'll be back in just a moment, please. Well, we're back with the old, old school switch. Of course, it's not as shiny as a Unify switch. But this is a Cisco Catalyst 2960X series. Now, I remember getting, I had stacks of these. I mean... I got pallets of these. Of course, it came out this release date of uh, May 24th of 2013. I remember getting them in January of 2014, replacing all kind of IntelliNet switches and everything else like that. Now, the end of sale date on that is October 31st, so Halloween of 2022. Of course, and a support date on that is Halloween of 2027. So that's still nice. So I ended up with just two of these. So one of these always travels around in my vehicle. Nice 48 port. I just defaulted it up. It still updates. Everything's nice and easy with that. And uh, this can be slapped into place anywhere, anytime. But man, the boot up process on this, this, uh, anytime you have a Cisco switch, especially a catalyst, man, you better have battery backup built into your quote. You can't let that slide if someone's trying to, uh, sharpen the pencil a little bit because these things take, I'd say up to 15, 20 minutes to boot. And I'm actually going to have to move this around a little bit. But, um, so, I said with a Unify switch, that thing's dead. So, what are we going to do? We're going to go back to the old, old school Catalyst. Uh, I was using this to do some other stuff. Uh, wasn't actually using this for PoE at all. But now, this Catalyst will be back in service and fully updated. So, we're going to go ahead and do, uh, what we need to do for the Unify side of things. So we're going to go ahead and add a Unify cloud key. It is PoE. It will boot up. Of course, this is defaulted. But um, come on now. There we go. We got it booting up. Comes with a USB if you need to power it that way. If you don't have PoE, I suggest you just do. S so simple. Especially if you use APs, you're going to need to power that too. And we're going to go ahead and just uh, power up this AP. 
Of course, this is a uh, AP Pro or AP AC Pro, rather. Of course, that's changed again, but we're powering this up too. Of course, I can't go without using Velcro straps. Please, please, oh my goodness. Velcro straps are your best friend. They come in packs at the Lowe's. Please use these. These are the best cable management ever because if you need to change anything, you don't need to go out to your truck and get tools because the rack was done with zip ties. Please don't use zip ties. So, yep, this is booting up. We're still booting up on that. But I have management on this Cisco Switch. Uh, regardless and AP is getting booted up now as well but yeah this old school thing these uh, Cisco catalysts just did not die now I'm just gonna do a full catalyst uh, video boot up process because uh, yeah take too long so we'll do that in the next video so please uh, subscribe and you'll uh, See this thing boot up from scratch and you'll know what I'm talking about about jet engines. Mm -hmm.